Hello, and welcome to a quick start guide for ClearCheck. This video assumes you are comfortable with the ClearCheck basics. It is suggested that you watch an overview of ClearCheck and constraint shorthand notation before watching this video. Let's get started. In this video, we will set up a prostate plan template in ClearCheck. First, run the ClearCheck program. If this is the first time running ClearCheck for your selected patient, you will notice ClearCheck is blank as it is here. Click the Template Manager icon. In this area, you have your global template selection. These templates can only be created and updated by using the separate ClearCheck administration program. As you can see, we currently have seven active global templates. If we have a global template that closely matches the dose constraints we are trying to achieve, we can select it now. You can also use the filter to type the constraint template name to quickly find the one you want. For this example, I'm going to select the prostate template. You can add it in to the patient template in two states, approved or unapproved. I'm going to add it in as approved for now. When you copy the template as approved, the only thing the user can modify is the structure plan. All other fields are locked and cannot be changed in the approved lock state. Note that the structure template column contains the name of the structure for the constraint template in the ClearCheck program. And the structure plan column contains the name of the structures in the Eclipse treatment planning system for the current structure set. If the names of both structures are the same, then ClearCheck will match the correct structure plan name to the correct structure template name automatically. If no match can be found, the user will have to select this from the dropdown in the structure plan column, which contains a list of all structures from the current active structure set in Eclipse that are not already associated with the structure template name. The structure plan can only be associated to one structure template name. When the prostate template is selected, notice that the GTV is blank for the structure plan. That's because in Eclipse, there is no structure named GTV. If you run ClearCheck with a structure plan being blank, ClearCheck will tell you that the structure cannot be found. To fix this, just click the structure plan. For this example, we're going to select prostate as that is the intended GTV for this patient. Also note, in this example, we have three femur underscore right constraints. If we change the structure plan to bladder, all three constraints will instantly be updated to bladder. If structure template name is identical and being used in multiple constraints, then all structure plan names get updated accordingly. You can tell that a patient template is locked by a green lock symbol under status. If you click the approval history icon, you can see that this was approved by Global. This means that this was simply copied into the patient template in the lock status from the Global templates. Ideally, your department has configured Global templates for almost all planning scenarios in your clinic. When creating Global templates, it's a good idea to name your Eclipse structure names and template structure names the same. In this way, little or no manual adjustments are required when applying a template to a patient. Of course, it is possible that any given patient, like one that's being retreated, will require specific adjustments. To demonstrate such adjustments, we are going to set up another patient template. In this example, the doctor copied in the prostate template, what you currently see. But now, as a planner, you realize the bladder constraint and CTV constraint are missing and you as a planner don't have the rights to approve or unapprove templates in ClearCheck. At this point, you have two options. Option one, you can copy the prostate template from the global template as unapproved. Then you can simply rename it. Option two, you can copy the prostate template from the current patient templates instead. For example, just highlight the prostate template in the patient template area, click the copy template icon, and rename the template. Save it. Option two would ensure that if the doctor changed any constraints compared to the global constraint template, that you are in fact applying the latest constraint version. So I'm going to do option two and simply copy the constraint from the patient template area and rename this to prostate planner. In this example, when you run ClearCheck on a plan, you can pick from the constraint templates. If you click here, you will have a dropdown. You can see we have prostate and we have prostate planner templates ready to be activated. If you want only your prostate planner template to show up in the dropdown, just uncheck Active in the Patient Template Manager for the prostate template. Now, only the unlocked prostate planner template will show up when you run ClearCheck. Now, let's clean up the prostate planner template. First, I want to add a bladder constraint. Click the Add Constraint icon. Type bladder in the structure template column. Next, associate the structure plan from the clip structure set, in this case, bladder. Pick a constraint type which in this example is going to be the volume constraint type. Next, I'm going to click the constraint example to get me started, so I don't have to manually type the whole constraint. Now I'm going to just edit this to meet my goals. For this bladder constraint, I want V4700 centigrade 
less than ideally 47%, but would be willing to go up to 60%. So just tweak the constraint example to V4700 centigrade, less than 47-60%. Next, I'm going to add a CTV constraint. I want it to be the same constraint as my GTV. To set this up quickly, simply copy the GTV constraint, rename the structure template to CTV, then from the dropdown of our structure plan, select CTV. Finally, I want to change the priorities. This is super easy to do. Just drag and drop to change the priorities. So for example, if I want my CTV, GTV, and PTV to be top priorities, just rearrange them, dragging the constraints with the left mouse button to reorder. This looks pretty good. Save, and now click the Plans Check tab if you also want to set them up. Plan checks work like constraint templates, except for a few exceptions. One exception is that you can only copy from the global template selection into the patient template as an approved status. You cannot edit plan check templates from the patient template manager application. If you wish to edit the plan check template, this can only be done in the administration application. The second exception is that you can only have one plans check template active at a time. If I copy both of these templates into the patient template, you can see how I cannot have both active. Once your plan check template is selected, save and close. Here you can select your plans from Eclipse from this dropdown. Keep in mind, this dropdown reads in plans from Eclipse that are opened and therefore available in the context window. If you don't see the plan in that window, it will not be available to clear check. As a helpful tip, remember you can open all plans in a course from the patient object browser at once by selecting the course itself and then pressing OK. Notice all my plans in that course have now been loaded in the context window and will be available to clear check. If you want to do a plan comparison, Hit the Plan Comparison icon here, then select your second plan to compare from this dropdown. Again, this plan has to be available in the Eclipse Contacts window. If you want to continue tweaking your plan, you will need to close ClearCheck. Click Report before closing ClearCheck, and now you can continue viewing the constraint values while working on your plan. If you want to finalize your plan and record your constraint values in a nice PDF, click the Report icon, then simply click the Save PDF icon. This will allow you to save the PDF constraint sheet. This concludes our video, a quick start guide on ClearCheck. ClearCheck, efficiency through simplicity.